welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute throw over cardigan top. I will have the written pattern available on my Patreon. The link for that will be down below in the description box. And then also on my Patreon, I have every single pattern that I've ever written. So make sure you check it out. And as always, thank you guys so much for supporting my art. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. For today's tutorial, I am going to be using the Paintbox Yarn Cotton DK. This is a lightweight three, and this is the yardage of each ball of yarn. I end up using, for my size small, about six to seven of these balls of yarn. The color I'm using is vanilla cream, and I'm taking a four millimeter crochet hook. I will have the written pattern available on my Patreon. The link will be in my description box. And over there, I will have patterns for alternate sizing, as well as how to make this pattern to a measurement, um, which is the best way to crochet in my opinion. But I will be giving you um, my specific size, which is a size small here in this video walkthrough. But head over there for all of the other good stuff. So I will begin with a slip knot and I will chain out a total of 37. To begin, we will be breaking up the pattern into several different panels. So this portion is going to be one side of the front panel and we will be making two of these. So I'm going to chain out a total of 37. So once I have a chain of 37, I'm going to be working back along the chain. I'm going to skip over that second chain next to the chain that we are working out of and I'm going to go in the chain after with a double crochet. So once I have placed the double crochet, we'll be alternating between placing one double crochet and then one single crochet in the chain after. And then again back to a double crochet so just continue this pattern for the remainder of the row so now i've made it to the end of the row with that alternating pattern of single crochets and double crochets and so the last chain of the row ends on a double crochet so to begin the next row um, we are going to be doing the opposite from the row beneath. So if there's a double crochet in the row beneath, then a single crochet will go. So in order to begin the next row, I'm only going to chain one and that's going to count as the single crochet on top of the double crochet. Then I'm going to flip my work and in that very next chain from the row beneath, it is a single crochet. So I'm going to be placing a double crochet on top of it. And then the next chain will be a double crochet from the row beneath. So I'm gonna place a single crochet on top of it. And then just continue the pattern of switching every chain. So the next chain will be a double crochet and the next chain will be a single crochet again. So I'm just gonna continue this alternating pattern. Just make sure um, whatever size that you do, if you're not following along with this size small, is that you will be alternating whatever is on the bottom of the row will be the opposite for the top. So um, this pattern just works up to be really beautiful. Um, it's not see-through. It has a little bit more of a hold to it for a crochet top pattern. I just love it so much. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to continue that alternating pattern until I reach the second to last chain of the row because we are going to begin decreasing along one side only and the other side is going to be straight. So I will just quickly finish up this row and be back to show you the decrease. So now I have two chains left in the row. I'm going to be decreasing, but I am also going to work the alternating pattern into the decrease. So the second to last chain um, from the row beneath is a single crochet. So I'm going to prepare for a double crochet. I'm gonna go through that chain, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, but do not complete the double crochet and just go directly into the last chain of the row, which would be a single crochet if you're following the pattern. So I'm not going to yarn over. Um, I'm just gonna act as if I'm doing a single crochet yarn over pull through then pull through all three so now you have a decrease 
with the pattern worked into it. Then since the last chain of the row is a single crochet, you are going to be chaining two to act as a double crochet. Flip over your work and then we are going to decrease again. So after this row, I'm going to place a decrease and then from here on out, we're only going to decrease every other row. Now since the chain two counts as a double crochet, my next chain will be a single crochet. So I'm just going to place my hook directly through that first chain, yarn over, pull through, and then since the next chain should be a double crochet, um, continuing the pattern, I'm going to wrap the yarn around the hook before I place it in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, then just complete the double crochet. And that will be a decrease in that first two chains. And then I'm just going to continue the alternating pattern. So we left off on a double crochet, so the next chain should be a single crochet. And then the next chain should be a double crochet. So just continuing that alternating pattern to the end of the row. And I'll be back to show you what's next. So I've made it to the end of the row. And I just want to quickly say to make sure you're not forgetting that very last chain of the row. Um, since it is just a chain one or a chain two, it won't really have like a full um, chain look to it. Um, but this is the chain one from the previous row. Um, you want to make sure that you're not skipping over this, otherwise your work isn't going to be a straight line. So just make sure you don't skip over that very last chain. So then from here, I just placed a double crochet as my last chain of the row. So I'm only going to chain one to count as the single crochet on top of that. Flip it over and then we're going to continue our way with the alternating double crochet, single crochet pattern. So since it was a chain one single crochet, the next chain will be a double crochet and then a single crochet in the chain after. And it should always match up. The double crochets should be on top of the single crochets from the row beneath and the single crochets should be on top of the double crochets from the row beneath. So I hope I did a good job of explaining it and it doesn't sound too confusing. It's very simple um, and so I hope I'm not over complicating it by over explaining but I just want to make sure you guys know what to do if you're not doing this size and you're doing a different size but again I will have um, the written pattern completely written out on my Patreon so if you have if you need additional help you can just message me on patreon or leave a comment in the comments below and i will try my best to get back to you guys so i am reaching the end of the row and like i mentioned we are only going to be decreasing um every other row so always at the ends of the row we will, you will not decrease um, you'll only decrease in the beginning of the row on this side. So I'm just going to continue the pattern directly into that last chain of the row. And also for this side, do not skip over that last chain of the row. Otherwise, the decrease will cut in too quickly. So since the last chain of the row is a double crochet, I'm only going to chain one, flip over the work, and then now we are at the decrease side and we will be decreasing in those first two chains. So since I did a chain one, then we are, we will prepare for a double crochet, go into that very first chain, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. Don't complete the double crochet um, because we will decrease by putting our hook directly through that very next chain um, acting as if we're doing a single crochet to continue the alternating pattern. Yarn over, pull through two, and then since this is a single crochet, we're just going to yarn over, pull through all three. And that is the decrease. Um, and then I'm just going to continue the alternating pattern. So I'm just going to be repeating those last two rows for a total of 35 rows. So I will just um, do that off camera and then come back and show you what's next. So now I have finished 35 rows of the single crochet, double crochet pattern with decreases along one side. 
Um, so all I'm going to do is cut and tie this and then you're going to want to make another panel exactly the same so that you have the other side of the front of the top. So now that I have made both of these, I'm going to get started on the sleeve. So the pattern for the sleeve is going to begin the same exact way as the front panels. I'm just going to make a slip knot and I'm going to chain a total of 44. Again, this is for my size small. So this initial chain is what is going to wrap around your arm. So just make sure that you give yourself enough space. Um, I'm going to chain a total of 44. So the pattern will be a repeat of exactly what we just did, a alternating double crochet, single crochet pattern. So I'm going to skip over to the second chain from the hook, placing one double crochet. And then in the very next chain, it will be a single crochet. And then again, the next chain will be a double crochet. So I'm just going to continue this. I'm going to skip through. Please rewatch the pattern for the front panel if you need a refresher. But I'm just going to do this for 36 rows. So now that I've done a total of 36 rows beginning my sleeve, I'm going to switch up the pattern. Now I will be switching up the pattern. Um, so on top of every double crochet from the row beneath, from the previous row, I will be placing a double crochet. And then in every single crochet from the row beneath, I'm going to be placing a treble crochet. So that's just wrapping the yarn around the hook twice and yarn over, pull through three times. So then I'm going to go back to a double crochet and then the next chain will get one treble crochet. So I'm gonna just repeat this alternating pattern between double and treble crochets for this row. Um, and then I will do a total of two rows of this, and then I will begin some increases. So I will be back to show you once I am on row three of this new pattern of alternating double and treble crochet. So I am at the end of the row and I have ended on a treble crochet, so I will chain two to bring up the work. If you end the row on a double crochet, then you chain three. So now I'm going to begin on my increases. So in that very first uh, chain going back along the row, it's a double crochet from the row beneath. So I'm going to be placing a treble crochet on top of it. And then in the next chain is a treble crochet from the row beneath. I'm going to place a double crochet. And then in the very next chain, I am going to be doing my increase. So I'm placing one treble crochet in the next chain. And then through that very same chain, one double crochet. And then one more treble crochet through that same chain. So now that will increase without disrupting the pattern and then I'm just going to go along continuing the pattern placing one either double crochet or treble crochet per chain until I reach the middle of the work. So now I have made it to the kind of the middle of the work. So now I have made it to kind of the middle of the work. I'm going to place one more increase. So continuing the pattern, I'm going to do one treble crochet, one double crochet, and one treble crochet in one chain. Once I have finished my increase along the middle, I'm not going to do another one on the end because when you sew this together, um, the increase will kind of just be on one side. I'm just going to have two increases on either side of the sleeve. So I'm just going to continue this pattern of alternating double treble crochets. You can do as long as you would like. I'm going to do for a total of 12 rows. So now I have finished the first sleeve. Um, again, you can do this portion as long as you want. I'm going to stop at 12 rows. So I'm just going to cut and tie that. And then you're going to make one more of these exactly the same way. Um, so I have already made that up. And now we're going to get started on the back portion. 
So the back portion is going to be the exact same pattern as this portion of the sleeve. So I decided not to do the back in the single crochet, double crochet pattern just because it would take a lot longer, but you are welcome to do this pattern if you would like to have like a solid back. Um, I don't care and I want to work it up quicker, so I'm going to do the double crochet, treble crochet alternating pattern for the back. Um, so I am just going to kind of skip through this portion because it's the same pattern but I will give you the um the number of chains that I do so I'm just going to begin that the same way um with a slip knot and then I'm going to chain out a total of 60. Again this is for my size small. Okay so for the back pattern I'm going to begin with a double crochet so I'm going to place one double crochet in the second chain from the hook and then in the very next chain I will put one treble crochet and then just alternate and repeat that same pattern for the remainder of the back. I'm going to do a total of 17 rows, but ideally you just want it to be as long as one of the front pieces. Um, and then since this is in single crochet, you will do half the number of rows that you did. So I'm just going to work that up really quickly and then I will be back to show you what's next. So I have finished with the main portion of the back piece. I ended up doing a total of 19 rows. I think I said 17. <clears throat> but um, so now I am getting started on my 20th row. However, I am only going to crochet in um, 15 chains and then I'm going to um, do a small row. So this is going to be the shoulder portion and then I'm going to cut and tie and do the same exact on the opposite side so that this is the portion that's going to go over your shoulder. So I went in 15 chains that is included. So then I'm just going to, once I read the 15th chain, I'm just going to chain three or you would chain two if it ends up being a treble crochet on your last chain but I'm ending on a double crochet so I'm chaining three and then I'm just going to do um, one more row of the alternating pattern so now I'm on that very last chain um, I'm gonna end it here so now I have just cut, I'm going to fasten that off and then reattach my yarn on the opposite side and then I'm going to do two rows of 15 on this side as well. So now I have finished that second shoulder on the opposite side. Um, I wish I would have thought of this while I did the first side but I am just going to go ahead and attach the front panel. Um, I'm going to attach it with a row of single crochet along the top and I'm going to, the way that I'm going to be attaching this, <clears throat> I'm going to attach all of them along one side. Just make sure the neck portion aligns and you're just kind of stretch it to fit. Just make sure you're placing your hook through both sides of the work. Okay, so now that I'm at the end of connecting the shoulder to the front portion, um, I will just cut and tie and then attach the other front portion to the other side. Again, <laughs> you can do this while you... Um, crochet this side. I wish I would have just done it but I'm just gonna do that quickly and I'll be back to show you how to connect the rest of the pieces. Okay so I connected both shoulders together so now I'm going to connect the sleeve. So I'm going to begin by attaching the sleeve to itself first and then I will attach it to the body and I'm going to do that for both sleeves. Um, but I will just run off the working yarn to connect it to the body so just make sure you don't cut and tie yet so I'm going to start at the um, bottom down here and work my way up through the um, double crochet treble crochet portion just make sure you're placing two single crochets per row of double crochet treble crochet 
just so that it doesn't cinch in your sleeve. So now I have finished connecting my sleeve together. I am going to attach it directly onto the body without fastening off my yarn. So when you attach it onto the body, just make sure that your the bottom of the front and the bottom of the back are aligned. You're gonna have a little bit excess from the shoulder portion. Um, and also the seam line for the sleeve is gonna be on the bottom. So I'm just gonna work my way up So I'm just going to grab the front and the arm and I'm just going to single crochet one side at a time to the front and the back. So I'm just going to make my way all the way around. So now I went ahead and attached both sleeves. Um, I realized that I forgot to tell you um, that once I went around with the sleeve, I just followed along to the bottom to attach the sides together so I didn't have to cut and tie that. Um, but So once you have that, then for my size, um, this portion of the top fits me right under my boobs, so I am going to be sewing an edging similar to the sleeve edging along the bottom. So now that everything is connected, I can flip it to the right side out. And I still have to weave in all of the strings, but I'll do that after I finish the bottom. So then for the bottom, I'm just going to begin on one of the front corners. So I'm going to reattach my yarn to the very corner. And then I'm going to jump straight into the pattern. So I'm going to be doing the double crochet, treble crochet, alternating pattern. So I'm going to begin by chaining three. And then in the very next chain, I'm going to place a treble crochet. And then in the chain after, a double crochet. And if you're working on the bottom of the row, just try and space it out evenly if there's not a definitive chain to place your hook through. So I'm just going to be alternating between double and treble and I'm going to make my way all the way to the other corner. So this is going to be one really really long row um, and then once I hit the end I'm just going to chain depending if it's a double or treble crochet I'm going to chain two or three and then I'm going to do another row. So I'm going to end up doing probably six to eight rows, but I will come back and let you know how many rows I end up doing. So I have done two rows of the edging already. I am working on my third row and I am going to be doing some increases on this third row just so that the bottom could be a little bit more flowy. So I'm going to do a total of three increases and I'm going to place them in the middle of each side. So I'm going to do one about here for the front, one in the middle of the back, and then one in the middle of the other side. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So for my increase, I'm about at the middle. I'm just going to continue in the same pattern. And in one chain, I'm going to be placing three. So continuing in that same pattern. So in my increase, I have one double crochet, one treble crochet, and another double crochet. And that continues the pattern. And then I'll just finish off this row placing two more increases where I just explained. And then I will continue with a couple more rows.
So now I have done about seven rows of the edge along the bottom. I'm just going to stop there, but you of course can continue that as long as you would like. The last thing we have to do is crochet the ties for these corners. So I'm just going to reattach my yarn at the beginning of where this bottom edge begins. And for this, I'm just going to do a basic single crochet chain. So you can weave in the end of the yarn at the same time. My Crocheting. I'm working. Yes, I'm working. I'm working again. Again, yeah. Why is it working again? Again, I'm almost done. Where is that? It's my coffee. Where's your coffee? Good magic. So, yes, once I finish this side, I'm just going to reattach and do another one on the other side. And then after that, you are basically done with this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please What's message it? Please message me on Patreon or leave a comment below and I will see you in my next video.